Hello guys, Invictus Prime versus Dark Avengers. I don't know why I try and say their name in an exciting fashion, but they are an exciting clan. Dark Avengers gave us a run, 85 to 84 the final score. It was one by one three star. Uh, Dark Avengers, if you don't know, has a YouTube clash with Costly. They've got a feeder. They've got quite a sexy warlock. Doing quite well in their random spins. Uh, this war, they managed to 2 our 11s very early on in the war. And get a few dips. They left me. Did they get any 10v10s? They hit. Captain Underpants about a million times. You'll see a base that I ended up getting in the end that we hit like six times as well. Pretty close war. Um, I did my mandatory dip fail right at the end of the war, which didn't really matter at that point, but it was close enough to be uncomfortable. We two starred their 11s fairly late. Or a mixture of early and late. Uh, we did have an 11 hit number one as our 10 struggled. We hit number one five times and couldn't get it. Well, four times with 10s and then the 11. And to be fair, this was the sealer in terms of percentage. Even had they tied, we would have been ahead. Uh, stop waffling, show some attacks. These are all dips up top. Start with number 10, Exige. I don't remember all these. Remember some of them. This is a queen charge. I said we did manage to um, clear the nines and get a couple of scouts done. Not as many as we would like. But our 10v10 game has been strong. These Wizzy Towers, obviously a big threat to loons. Queen's gonna just get left to kind of wander here, if I remember correctly. Clean up up top, if you can call it clean up before the base is beat. Um, trash reduction, recycling. Not recycling. So she's going to get the portion from sort of 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock cleared. King in with a whizzy is going to clear some of that trash. And we know where the queen wants to go. The queen wants to go towards that inferno tower. Those wall breakers. Give her access. Do you know what? This base looks really familiar. Not sure why. CC Hound comes out. There is the loon about to drop. Does get a bomb off. And there's the rage. Push through these pups. King has left a few barbs. Tanking some cannons on the far side. Once the pups are dealt with, Queen ability about to be used on the heroes. King's going to go down, Queen's going to go down. We've got a freeze coming up for this Inferno Tower. Three hay spells, still has a couple minions for cleanup where needed. Dropped a few whizzies as well at like 9 o'clock to sort that out. This is the one. Did he miss the Inferno? He missed the Inferno and everything has to push back. But the queen does get it before anything really matters. So last air defense dies. It's pups on a cannon and queen on the inferno tower. Dark Avengers record, I think, was 2-0 going into this. 
we were not favorited by cash wraps he called in his prediction video that we would lose this war at this base we hit a total of six times for all our 10v10 game is strong yeah, we hit all of them quite a few times before finally succeeding So following the previous attacks, which were all quite close, it was a matter of sweeper issue or something just staying up and ruining the raid. Um, King just down really to push into that compartment and make sure the queen heads north, pull the CC before getting into too much fire. You see where the minions were placed, sort of first thing they have made it very much likely that the queen will head towards that inferno tower hold steady save your rage here come the bowlers rage wall breakers in wall breakers need that push to get through that inferno tower and the bowlers here are going to push straight into a big bomb that we knew about but they get the job done in terms of clearing the trash needed. Thirty-nine percent beat and the air raid starts. Targeted loons. Enemy queen goes down up top. And those sweepers, which were the Biggest problem in this whole raid. Still giving issues even after being frozen. The push through, the queen's still alive. Last air defense has too much coming at it. And once that goes down, this was GG. Shall fast forward. No idea who we've got next week. I can probably tell you in a second. I get my trusty device out. Well, we roll number 12. Megatron. 25 loons. It's a lot of loons. Who do we war next week? I can't find it. It doesn't matter. We're in prep mode. I'm sure we'll pull two non-farm wars. We have not had an easy war in three weeks. I don't see it happening anytime soon. Everyone seems to be on the cycle. Spinning randoms that are pulling other CWO clans anyway. It's like potluck. Every day. So Megatron push in, pull the CC here. He's going to take the Queen Death. The suicide. But the job has been done. The Hound has been pulled out to the side. That minion shouldn't pop it. With all these haste and rage and Heal spells. Minion dies. So the hound's back in the middle of the base, right where you don't want it. Skelly spell on the enemy queen. So I lost track of this one quite early, trying to find out who we wore next week. There's tons of stuff left. Fifty five seconds of cleanup. Got a couple more to show. I think we got one more 10v10 and then I will run maybe one or two nines. Pick the top nines. Dark Avengers did beat us. Look at that. Non-dip fail. 
Here's I run on 14. Pretty similar comp. Um, this will be suicidal heroes. Generally it only works if you've got hound CC because it can be ignored. If it if you run this as a first hit and a dragon pops out, you're fucked. Uh, what was I going to say? Dark Avengers. Yeah, they beat us 62 days ago. So we have avenged. Hey Spell going to take this Inferno Tower out. These suicide heroes are going to get a bit of value. The king has cleared a pile of trash around the outside of the base. This is probably like an 85k. These are the ones you kind of expect to get with 10s. If you want to save your 11s, dipping on sort of lightweight 10s. Heal for the core freeze is going to sort of keep everything up. And that. Skelly. When the skelly spell hits the queen like that, it's fucking fantastic. All she needs to do to screw up the entire raid is jump that wall for some reason, chasing a loon or a pup. And then it's game over. we still got a hound buried in there somewhere. Expo, gonna keep working on that. Or are we gonna get it to pop? I don't remember. Doesn't matter, he's got enough cleanup. That's sort of six o'clock to get around this base anyway. A few back end loons for that Wizzy Tower and Hound gonna go? Hound is not gonna go. The cleanup has been done. First day of a new season today. I just spent two hours in the clouds on my main account. Two hours I gave up I'm now going to drop trophies let's watch Hunter Man 9v9 with hogs we like it cool base um, I like this base good whizzy tower formation near the queen and the cc Sweepers would protect quite well. You can see why we didn't go air on this. Don't know how many times this base got hit. Hunter Man may have got this fresh. He's going to jump three golems into the core. Or into that first nipple expo compartment. Bowlers in behind. Giant bomb threat looms. Got two jumps. I was expecting quite a bit out of this kill squad. And really, they're going to push a fair ways through the base. This was obviously not a fresh hit. Trolley as fuck Teslas. What base are we looking at? 15. 15. 15. Got a hit fresh. Surely Teslas were exposed already. I was just looking elsewhere. So CC Hound dealt with, Enemy Queen dealt with, poison on these pops that's taken most of them out. He's got one hog in the bag. She'll probably swag his cleanup somewhere. The hot. Dark Avengers Fantastic War. Always hate rushing the CWO recaps. Don't know if they can make these friendly war replays last a little longer. That was Costly. Costly's got a YouTube. Check him out. Assuming he'll do something with this war. Avengers, thanks very much. Good luck in your bid.